What's going on, everybody? I'm O'Brien, and I'm giving you a warning right now. I am throwing some mad shade, and I'm probably going to say bullshit a couple of times. Okay? This is a quick video, I hope, that I wanted to do before I went to sleep tonight, after I got off at work. Um, I was, you know, always on YouTube, always looking around, and I came across this video. BitConnect, I lost my life savings, 221,000 views. Scroll down a little bit farther and you see it's by, the link is by John. Um, I clicked on the link here. Whoop, I want to go back. I clicked There's a on, community, yeah. Uh, anything. I clicked on the link down here and I watched another YouTuber. So I'm clicking on the link right here. Let me close this one and it's going to pull up this individual here, John Potts, BitConnect and stuff. So. I watched another YouTuber, probably about 3,000 followers or subscribers, 200 views on the video talking about this and Trayvon James and Crypto Nick and the lawsuit and stuff that everyone's talking about. And they kept talking about this gentleman in this video. And I recognized him. And I'm going to say that this man's story is bullshit. And he's a hypocrite. And I'm going to point out a couple of things here that he says in his video before I back up my statement, okay? So the first thing I notated here is that he, he first he wants to threaten the promoters. So let's jump here. And he's going to talk about threatening the promoters, and they're talking on YouTube and showing their nice cars and their hotels and everything. So this is what he says. You know, uh, you don't have to do like I did. You know, you got your own mind. You're an adult. Well, they can kiss my ass, and I'll punch them in the face at any chance I get. Gladly. For all of us, for my children, for your children, for your loved ones, I'll punch them right in the mouth. Just give me one of them, and uh, I don't know, folks. I, I'm I'm really. So there, he's talking about Trayvon James, or Crypto Nick, or Craig Grant. And then another thing that I wanted to point out was that at this, let's see, what's the other marker? He's going to talk about the promoters are not like us, and that's a key point I want you to remember. They lied to us. They used us, abused us. We're all pissed off and don't quit thinking like they want you to think. They're, those promoters are not like us. They lied to us. They used us, abused us for affiliate and to make them more money. Okay. I want you also remember that they used and abused us for affiliate and they want more money. Okay. He also states that he put all of his money into this platform, his life savings. It was saving it for his son. His son has got autism, so on and so forth. And then he also says that all lending platforms are scams, And but he wanted to get people into them. So all lending platforms, whether your opinion is for or against lending platforms, if you like them, if you think they're scams and Ponzi's, that's irrelevant at the moment. It's more of to point out the fact that this gentleman is a hypocrite and I'm a little peeved by it, okay? So let's go here real quick. John Potts, remember that, I don't know why I'm pointing at my screen, remember that, it's going to be over there, I think, remember that profile picture, okay? Now, on, when did I post this video? On December 27th, I posted a video on my channel, how to get referrals in BitConnect guaranteed. BitConnect referrals with the BitHub, which if you guys watch my channel from the beginning, you know I was part of a chain group called the BitHub, and it's still going strong, even though we're not part of we're not BitConnect anymore, I'm not a referral group, we are now a cryptocurrency. But that's irrelevant. So I posted this video on December 27th, and I wanted to help the community grow. So we're going to scroll through the comments. I almost scrolled too far. And we have right here, John Potts. I'm going to click, I'm going to open up another tab to the user's page. John Potts, John Potts. It's the same guy, 65 subscribers, four video or three videos, John Potts. Now let's read his comments. So he did put, I have BitConnect as a sponsor, and I was told I could change it, but I don't know how. Do you have any idea how many people you hurt if your word is not good about getting the free referrals and the free referrals, right? How pissed they would be if scammed. Some people wouldn't let it go like me. Okay. We're the real deal in the BitHub Global. Our building strategy and team structure is second to none. We have 200 plus happy members and growing daily. This is the comment that I also have it saved, and this is where I was like, this is familiar. So he goes, nerdy dude stuff. I do see that people haven't answered, as you can see, where the negative vibes are coming from. It would also be nice to hear from happy people that have gotten referrals from you. Like I said earlier, if a person 
got me he did leave me another comment and it was in the spam box and I think I deleted it um, I could look for that in an email if you need more proof but this basically says what he says here like I said earlier if a person got me 20 people to use me as a sponsor with at least a loan of $200 each I would Western Union you at least 500 or what you feel is fair Hulk and Thor 11 I don't know what that was I have BitConnect for a sponsor, and no, I do not see an edit button, my sponsor name, only besides email. If you know of anyone that would like to help me with 20 referrals that actually take out a loan, let me know. I'm on Facebook, Twitter. Then he goes into, I have a son with autism. I hope to leave money for him when I'm no longer around. A little bit of a Breaking Bad story, even though it's not autism in that show. But the thing is, he wanted, like I said earlier, if a person got me 20 people to use me as a sponsor, meaning John Potts. Okay, Hulk and Thor 11 was his um, BitConnect name. Um, he wants 20 people to use him as a sponsor and do a loan of $200 each, and he would Western Union me $500 or what I feel is fair, which I didn't do anything. Um, so then I go, I have personally emailed everyone that is saying that I haven't received. I spoke with the regional U.S. promoter, and he has indeed sent emails to everyone on the list. Though I appreciate the view and comments, please don't advertise your referral incentives on someone's videos. It only takes a few moments to record a video of yourself, prepare some strong search engine optimization, and upload. The best way to build a team is to earn trust, and I've helped our community grow BitHub Global from 30 members to 230 members. I personally text Facebook, email, blah, 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 blah. It sounds like you signed up for BitConnect through a fake link, blah, blah, blah. I hope not. In the sponsor link, it says BitConnect. How would you know if you did go to the wrong site? I have been able to take out BTC and Bitcoin, BitConnect coin in and out. So he's even saying here he has been able to take BitConnect coin and BTC in and out. You're correct, blah, 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 blah. And then he goes, nerdy dude stuff. There's no way to change it. BitConnect says I can't make a ticket until January 5th. And then he says, I have a $5,000, $10 loan and a $300 loan out. I mean, life savings, I was expecting like your house is now under foreclosure you don't can't afford the car or the cell phone plan you have anything like that but it was just I'm frustrated a little bit so he's sitting here in this video and he's bashing the big promoters crypto Nick Trayvon James Craig Grant you know he says in one of them he wants to cut their fingers off and he's lost his life savings and they're scumbags and whatever your opinion on them might be he's being extremely hypocritical because he's reaching out to other YouTubers and other ways to get referrals and saying if they give him 20 people under him with at least a loan of $200 each he would then Western Union somebody money that's just and then he goes on to do these videos where he's sitting in his car lost his life savings so I'm just flustered I'm glad I things look familiar to me because a lot of YouTubers keep bringing this guy up and they're, you know, sympathizing with him or empathizing with him or sharing his story. And he's got 3,000 comments on here. And I'm just going to have the balls to say that it's just bullshit. And he's incredibly hypocritical. So if you hate me for this, I apologize. I'm just showing, you know, the on your online signature is always there. Always. And he left an online signature on one of my videos. I was at like 400 subscribers at that point. And... The proof is in the pudding. So what makes him any better than, you know, if you don't like Crypto Nick or Trayvon James or anybody, what makes him any better than them? Because he was willing, you know, if he's sitting there saying, well, they're driving their fancy cars and they want to use you for your affiliate and they want to use you for the affiliate bonus, that's exactly what he wants to do right here. That's exactly what he wants to do right here. So I'm going to leave you with that. If you agree or disagree with what I have to say, if you hate me for it, you know, if you think this is crazy, uh, if you have any similar stories, if you're a YouTuber that was doing BitConnect and everything, and you have similar comments like this, especially from individuals that are putting the sob stories out there, not knowing that they've left a digital footprint like this, please leave me a comment. I'd love to hear about it. So if you want, subscribe to the channel. If you hate me because of this, you don't have to. Um, leave a like, leave a dislike, leave a comment, whatever. I'm Oprius, and I'll see you guys next time.